I'm back. Oh, thank you so much, Rose. Sorry, I had a problem with my microphone, but I'm, I was able to introduce myself. Oh, that's very okay. Thank you so much. I think I had some challenges as well with my with my Zoom account. It just quitted accidentally, but I'm very happy to proceed. Yeah, so I don't know at what point did I break. Were you able to see my screen? No. Anyone? Anyone can? Okay, Sakina says no. That's very okay. Thank you for letting me know. And please unmute yourself. Yasin, please unmute your, mute yourself. Ensure on these sessions you are able to mute yourself. And if you have any question, you can raise your hand or you can post them on the chat. We'll be very happy to help you. Great. Fantastic. So I will share my screen and let me know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, so great. Fantastic. I've shared my screen. Please let me know if you're able to see it. Just text me on the chat and I'll be able to know. Or just anyone can unmute themselves and let me know if they're able to see my screen. Let me see. Oh, yes, great. Thank able. you. Yes, oh. we are able. Fantastic. Thank you so much for letting me know. Yeah, so what I was saying that uh, is to, these sessions are going to run for a, for a period of one year. You are really going to learn a lot. We have a lot in store for you. There is Python programming language. There is front-end website development. There is also mobile development using Kojula. You also learn how to design and um, develop user interface design that are very friendly to use. And uh, we we'll also learn how to do full stack web development that is both front end and back end. We we'll also learn about cybersecurity. We we'll also learn about data science. We we'll also learn about project launch and project management. And you'll we'll also, we'll also party will You'll also participate on a bootcamp because all these languages, there are so many and you can't, you can't actually throw the session. Maybe you'll develop an interest in mobile development. That is very, very okay. You'll develop an interest in cybersecurity. That's also very fine. Data science. But for the first few months, we are going to give you an introduction to all of them, We're going to guide you on the tools and all the resources that you can use. And this will be very helpful for you to select, maybe if you have, if you are passionate about mobile development, which you are going to begin next year in January, because this December we are going to work a lot on Python programming language and also web development. So it's very very important that uh, you become very open minded, be able to join this session so that you are able to learn and uh, you'll develop an interest. Once you are able to develop an interest, we are going to actually to have a session where all of you are going to be grouped according to your interest and you are going to have mentors to help you work on your project based on your interest. So until there, I've said that um, the program is going to run for the whole year. Please, it's going to end in October. We are going to award best innovative solutions at the, this launch will, will be happening at after the end of the program will be happy it will going to happen at one of the american space which we'll soon share with you so apart from learning we're also looking forward to award best innovative solutions based on your interest so become very open-minded and also know there's also rewards for the people who are going to participate in towards the end of the program so for now since because of the covid 19 restrictions all the American spaces currently are not open. So we are going to do them virtually until there is some safety or the spaces will be open. And these are going to be guided by the American space and the US embassy. Once the spaces are open, we'll be visiting these spaces physically and you'll be coming and we'll be able to help you. And remember the American spaces have internet. It has laptops, computers that you can use. So welcome and i would like now to pause there before i go straight into web development 
Yeah, so anyone who has a question, please, you can raise your hand or you can mute yourself. So we are going to have five, five to six minutes for question where you feel you are not able to understand and I'll, I'll be able to clarify to you. Great. So I'll, I'll stop sharing my, my, my screen. Yeah, it's time for Q&A before we begin now the actual coding. Today we are going to introduce ourselves how to learn how to develop websites from scratch. Yeah, so any question or just type on the group do you know are you are you have you ever done web development you can say yes i've done web development no i have not so that we can also know the type of audience that you are today yeah because today i'm going to take you through how to develop websites yes ask a question and also tell us if you've been be able to know how to develop a site if you don't have any experience it's also okay that's why we are here so I would like this session to be very, very in interactive. I can see Nur, Nur Abdul has said, no, he hasn't. That's very okay. Fantastic. I haven't, Maria Wendy, that's good to hear from you. Fantastic. And it's really going to be a very, oh, fantastic. I can see Sophia Abdi has also done that. Myra, not yet, not yet, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Keep them coming. If you haven't, that is very, very okay. We are going to learn from scratch. Excuse me, madam. Yes, please. I have a question. Please go ahead. Is there any relationship uh, between what we are going to learn and uh, programming, normal programming we learn in uh, school? In school, that's a very, very good question. Who is that? My name is Wafula, Emmanuel. Oh, that's very great, Wafula. That's a very, very good question. So what you are going to do, we are, we are having experts like, uh, I think I should have mentioned this, I have over seven years experience in web development and our facilitators have a very vast experience like the Python developer, the cybersecurity. So we've partnered with different companies and different organizations like 21st skills, which is a liquid telecom product where you can, once you've gained the skills that we've shared with you, you can be able to progress. And what we are looking onto, apart from the coding that we are giving you, we are giving you real world skills that even after you finish the sessions, you'll be able to become self-employed or you can get a job employment. So we are looking at long term. We really encourage all of you to be very persistent with these sessions. Like for example, I train web development at Pony Techno Girls and for you to be a very good web developer, you have to, to participate in our class for three months. So it's a very long-term thing. And our aim is to give you employable skills. We want after the training, you can secure our jobs and we'll be very, very happy to know that uh, even after the training, you've been able to secure jobs We'll also share with you how you can do freelance jobs and how you can secure this freelance job. Yes, yeah, so Wafula, that's a very good question. Yeah, I, I, and uh, just even to mention, I, I, I did my undergraduate at, at Technical University and my, my course was ICT. And uh, based on even the experience that I had at school, what I can say that uh, yes, at school, there's a lot of programming, different programming languages, but what I can assure you with the coders at American Space, we are giving you real time and real world experience that once you've finished, you can employ them in employment, you can become self-employable. And we all know that uh, yes, in school, we don't get, most of the sessions are always theory, but throughout all the sessions, you'll be learning practical. All the sessions will be practical sessions. That's why we encourage all of you to have computers. And unfortunately, some of you did not have computers because the American spaces have not yet opened. We encourage them to join the Facebook session. They can always follow up. And we are going to record these sessions. And uh, after all the sessions, we are going to share the recordings with you in a way that you'll be able to follow throughout the week. Yeah, so Wafula, I hope I answered your question. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
fantastic so but, but now madam sorry yes. uh, sorry 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 now mm -hmm. my question is this now that we are doing this virtually do you think there will be any effect on uh, practical lessons or practical sessions rather no 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 yeah so actually as pony techno girls we've been running paid online classes and we've been having even international students even from texas they've been able to join these sessions and what i can tell you it's the same experience okay it's the same experience that we had when you were doing physical remember we have two facilitator when we start coding or when, when we start writing code start programming we'll have like a session where if you you are stuck you can okay. share your screen i can share my screen so we'll ensure that these sessions are very practical and okay. no one is left behind yes yeah, okay, so i really encourage all of you to be very open-minded with this online session let's experience how it is it will go but trust me, I can tell you it's very amazing and you're really going to learn a lot. So I want Thank all you. of you to be fantastic. So I want you all of you to be very courageous. If we start coding, you are left behind, feel free to say, okay, I've done this, it's not working. And all the facilitators are very passionate about what they are doing and we are here to help you, all of you. Great. Thank you so much, Wafula. Anyone else who would like to go with a question? Let me check on the charts as well. Oh, I can say I can see Brian says he's been able to interact with Python and Django. That's great. Oh, there is also Mariam Abdallah says that what if what if I want I want to learn more than one language? That is very okay. For the first three months or four months, we are going to introduce you to everything. So it will be upon you to select which area you're very interested. Yeah, so it's going to be open for all of us and you're going to learn all the programming languages that we have for our session. Yeah, so that's very great. I can see Christopher Ogu Ogude is saying that he's currently doing web. That's very, very great. Anyone else with a question? We have one minute left before we start. So I would like to encourage some of us who have already started and you have some experience. You can also be able to support others who've not started. If maybe there's a session, someone asks a question and you know how to solve that, please go ahead and type the response on the chat so that they can follow. So we've also been running other programs where we have the participants being able to follow each other. So what I will also recommend that um, we will we'll share with you a link where you'll be able to add your phone numbers. And then these phone numbers, we are going to create a WhatsApp group where we'll continue even supporting each other, even when we don't have these sessions. Great. So these sessions are going to be once in a week. We are going to have them for 90 minutes. We are going to share the recordings. But using the WhatsApp group, we can continue supporting all of you. Yeah, Mariam Abdallah asked, for the physical meeting, this is tentatively next year. With the rising number of COVID, we are not able to do them now. But hopefully next year, we'll be visiting all the American spaces. And now we look forward to meeting you physically. Oh, fantastic. Great. Right, so uh, uh, one thing that I would like to emphasize is if, if, you, if you already have experience in web, feel free to support your fellow friends, fellow colleagues. And remember, we want to build a community. So this is going to be a very open community for all of us as young people to be able to support each other, to be able to build solutions and products. So it will begin even from today. Yeah, so for the... For the sake of the ones who've not been able to, which it's a majority of people. Yes, the WhatsApp will be very, very active. Yeah, and I know our very own Aisha, even throughout the session, she'll be able to share this, like a very short, a very short form for all, only the people being able to attend these sessions. We want to keep it very consistent in a way that we'll be able to continue learning. Yeah, right. Is that okay, Madam Aisha?
Yes, yes, it's very okay. I'll share. Yeah, so you can just share the form where everyone will be able to to fill in their numbers and just share it with the on the chat. And even towards the end, we'll remind you. And by the by the end of today, you'll be able to we'll be able to have our WhatsApp group for Mombasa alone. Remember, in the in the afternoon at three, we are going to have a different sessions with Nairobi, Nairobi with the Nairobi Coders at American Fellows. Great. So, without much much waste, wasting time, I would like us to dive in into web development. Great. So, I would like to hear some of experiences from from people who have already started. Yeah, so anyone, anyone who can share what they've been able to do and what website development means to them. Let's let's have it as a very interactive session so that it, all of us can be able to understand. So anyone who like to go first. There was Teresa, there was Sophia. You don't have to put your video on. Just go ahead and say, this is what I feel web development means. These are the languages I used. OK, hello. Yes, Christopher, we can hear yes. you. Yes, me, um, I've tried web development. I'm currently doing it. Oh, awesome. So what it means to me is to be able to make applications that run, yeah, just a web-based application. So if you're able to design, develop a web-based application, then that is web development. Yeah. So, that is, oh, great. And which, which are some of the languages that you've been able to use to learn? So I've tried, I've tried full stack JavaScript a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'm currently trying to, to major in Django. Yeah, so Python oh. and JavaScript, I think are good languages if, when you're beginning. That is very, very, very okay, Christopher. And I know you'll be also be a very great supporter to the new people who've not been able even to start. You can imagine there are some of us here which we've never even started. We even don't know what are some of the editors we are going to use. Yeah, so it's very, very great. And thank you so much for having the courage to share with us what you've learned. So, so I can see Mimi says, she's. I use HTML and CSS. It means I'm able to bring an idea into reality. I tried Java and, and I found them hard. Oh, wow. So Mimi says that uh, she tried Python and and Java and she found them hard. Sometimes these programming languages, yes, they're not very easy because at some point you, you don't just try something and it works immediately. At some point it requires constant practice and also being able to have mentors who have already done that can really help you. So Mimi, I hope throughout the session you are going to have mentors and facilitators who are very good in mobile development, who are very good in in Java and Python, and they're going to help you. Yeah, so we want to build a very strong community of young people who can code and they can be able to they can be able to build solutions. So we'll be able to support each other. And remember, once our intro sessions have been we've been able to complete based on your interest, you'll say, like, okay, I've learned all this, but for me, I want to develop a solution that is a mobile app. For me, I want to develop a, a website. So this is what I will I will merge and we'll have very experienced facilitators coming in to support you. Great. So for the introduction, for the ones who've never begun before, so websites or web pages, like for example, have you ever imagined like a, Anytime you post a, anytime you post, anytime you post a Facebook, you post on Facebook maybe a photo, a video, like as you maybe you did not know, or like how, where are these photos being saved? Where are these videos being saved? Yeah, so you find that uh, website development or web development, these are uh, web pages, and these web pages they're just 
they are just normal any other pages written using a specific language. For now, we are going to use HTML and CSS. And these are languages that the browser, what I mean by a browser is like, for example, Chrome, Firefox, and these are the, these, these languages, the browsers are able to translate them. Like for example, I always give my students a very simple example, especially when you're very new into web development. You want maybe to write a letter. Can you use Excel to write a letter and you have Word? So we have different tools and that we are going to use. We, you, we have different tools that we are going to use. One second. We have different tools that we are going to use and I'm going to share a link with all of you, especially for the new people. So these web pages or these websites, and remember websites have different pages. Like for example, let me share my screen. I can demonstrate using Pony Technogals page website. Great. So I will share, let me open another tab. I can say Pony Techno Girls. Yeah, let, let's wait for it to, yeah. So like, for example, this Pony Techno Girls, it's a website, right? But in, in, in the website, there are so many pages. So like, for example, there is about, there is coders, there is our work, media, about us, there is mission. So these are different pages brought together. So you can have a website with, with one page, you can have a website with so many pages, but different, all these web pages brought together, they, they form a website. So it's very, very interesting. And what I can say, I'm a, just to testify, I'm a very, I've been working as a freelance website developer I don't go to any office, I work from home, and people are able to pay me for my work. And some of these skills that you're going to get will really help you even to apply for freelance work and will be able to start earning money by developing websites. Like for example, this website was built by Pony Technogals team. Like for example, we run an organization, we don't need to pay someone else to do these websites for us. So it's going to be a very good skill for you and you'll be able to earn money. You can even earn up to 300K. You can be able to earn even a minimum of 25,000. And with different tools that we are going to use, you will learn and realize which one will I be able to use very, very fast. So like for example, this website was built by a tool called WordPress and we're able to do it from scratch. But apart from WordPress, I would like us to learn how to code these websites from scratch. We'll learn about HTML, CSS. We'll also learn a framework called Bootstrap that has CSS and JavaScript built in it. So it will give us a very great interface and very good design. Fantastic. So, so I would like us to there is a, for us to be able to write code, we'll be able to use an editor that is called Sublime Text. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so I'll open a new file. I've been having so many, so many file here. So this is how, this is how the Sublime Text looks like. And using Sublime Text, there, there are so many other editors you can use, but for this session, I will recommend us to use Sublime Text. So I'm going to share with you for the new for the new members who have not been able to download sublime text and for the ones to have it's fine so i will share this link on the chat and i would like all of you to download so if you if you have a sublime text you can uh, you can raise your hand or you can put it on the chat if you don't have you can just see the same way i'm doing it on my screen it depends on which machine you are running on there is Windows, there is Windows 64. This is portable if you are running, if you are working on Linux as well. So I will I, I will use this stable version. We can use this portable version if your Windows is 64 bit. I want you to download it and install it. Yeah, so let me know on the on the chat how many people have how many people already have this sublime text. And if you don't have, you can use. 
you can use the link that I'm sharing on the chat below right now. Great. So, let me share on the chat. So that is the link we are going to use. That is the sublime text link we are going to use. Any one of us who already have Jacob says visual studio code that is very okay if you are very comfortable using that it's also very fine you can use sublime there is also notepad plus plus if you want to use but the reason why we recommend using sublime text you can open multiple folders and all that so it becomes very easy mini says she uses i hope you are a she <laughs> so you use a bracket that's very okay if you if you are very comfortable using it it's very fine if you not have you don't have any editors i will recommend you download sublime text so any one of us who've been able to download sublime text before we can proceed you you download and install yeah, and the ones who've been able to learn how to do using to develop sites using HTML and CSS, I would like all of you to be very patient with the new with the new members so that it becomes easy for all of us to move together. Great. So for the ones who've not been able to, oh, fantastic! I can see Simon says he uses Sublime Text. That's very okay. It's, I would really like to hear from the new people who've never coded or who've never done anything on web development. And once you share your numbers, uh, once Aisha has already shared the form, we are going to have a, like a, another form where you'll be able to you'll be able to answer some of the questions so that it helps us move very fast. Okay. Wakula says I shared the link. That's it. I've shared it again. So you can download it. Please mute yourself. Oh, great. Oh, great. Brian says he finds Visual Studio very appealing. Oh, great. I can see Winnie Barawa says she's very new into coding. That's why we are having these sessions. Don't worry. So I've shared the link again. I want you to download it and install it. So I'll be very patient, especially with the new people, so that we move together. Excuse me. Yes, Wafula. I am not seeing that link. See you, Meshawa, be kindly. Oh, okay. So messages. Link... Yes, let me share again. Maybe I might be sharing. Oh, I can, I can see it now. I can see it. I can see oh, it. Oh, fantastic, Wafula. Yeah, I can see it. Just download it and today we'll run. We'll, we, we'll just write some code and we are going to understand some of the concept on the web development. Hey. Yes, Willis. Do you want to say something? Excuse me, I can't, I can't see the link. I'm trying to find the link, but I don't see it. Let me share it again, Willis, don't worry. I've shared it again. Or I can share it with you as an individual. Let me find you. You can, yeah. Anyone else who's not been able to access the link? Yeah, so I've been able to share it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay Fatma says she's very new into coding. Don't worry, Fatma. Just download the link that I've just shared on the on the on the chat with everyone. You download, then we're just going to learn HTML and CSS. But for today, we'll do a bit of introduction of HTML. Then I will share with you more resources that you can learn more. Yeah, and uh, we are going to create a WhatsApp group where you'll be able to get help 
if we are not running a session like on Wednesday, you need help on Tuesday, you can easily ask a question and one of us facilitators will be able to help you. Yeah, so I just want all of you to understand that as Pony Techno Girls and American Spaces are very happy to support and work with you in this journey. So I can see Jackson asked which version. It depends on your machine, but you can check the portable version if your machine is 64. You can just download and install. Let me share my screen again. Great, so I will assume all of us are here. So, yeah, so you can just say download for Windows. Just click here. Once you click on that link, I think you can go back. And then uh, you can use Windows, this is the portable version, or you can use 64-bit if your machine is 64-bit. Any can work, but don't use Linux if you are not on Linux, and don't use this. I think this is Mac. So you, I, I'll recommend you use this link or the 64. So if I'm using the 64-bit when I click on it, this is what I should be able to see. Yeah. Yeah, so one once because I've already I've already downloaded it and I've already installed it. Once you click on that, it should be able to give you such a pop-up and remember to see where it's going to be saved. But I know most of you it will save direct to downloads. So let me assume I'll put it on the downloads. Yeah, and yes, I can once it is finished, I can open the file. Yeah, so I'll really assume not all of us know how to install this tools so be very patient with the new members yeah so once you get this error you can say yes but for me i will say no because i already have the sublime text with me so i want all of us to be on the same page to ensure you have a sublime like mine great So I'll give you two minutes for all of us to install. I'll stop sharing. And let me just hear from you. I think someone's microphone is on, please. And Mute your mic. Oh, Amamuyu is saying she, he or she is downloading. Just let me know on the chat so that we move together. I will really like us, especially for the new people to write something. Yeah, but for the, for the ones who have already done HTML and CSS, stay tuned. You can also come in and support the other new people. So for the Winnie, Winnie, for the trainings for the Mombasa team is going to be every Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 11.30. And we are, we are recording this session, so don't worry. These sessions are being recorded. And immediately after the sessions, once you are able to, to join the WhatsApp group, we'll be sharing all the sessions with you so that you can easily follow. Fantastic, Mariam, you are downloading. That's great. Oh, fantastic. Welcome, Winnie. The rest hope you are downloading. And remember, this is virtual. I can't really see what you are doing unless you are able to communicate. If you are stuck as well, let me know. Yes, yes. Is there anyone who wants to speak? I can see someone with Lenovo. Do you want to speak? Yes, please go ahead. I can hear you.
I am really excited, especially for the new people who've never done anything, you've never written any code, you've never done anything on Sublime Text. Uh, it will be my joy to see at least you're able to write something and visualize it on a browser. I know for the people who've already done it, for the first time you do it, it's very, very exciting. So also let's give our new friends an opportunity to be able to do that and then we can continue advancing. And then after two weeks, we'll swipe and now start learning Python. And for the for the ones who already have gone, at least you've already learned on your own, please stick on and be able to support the rest. Yeah, it will be really great to see all of us being able to support one another. <laughs> Nuru says downloading, you, you, we can't do it on the phone, Nuru, unfortunately. Yeah, so that's why we recommended if you have most of you answered that you have computers, that's why we're able to invite you for these sessions. Unless if you don't have a laptop, it will be hard. You'll wait until when the American spaces open and then we can direct you to use the resources there. Oh, fantastic. So without wasting time, have we all downloaded the sublime text? Do we all have something like on my screen? Let me share my screen again. I hope you have something like the one showing on my screen. Excuse me, madam. Yes, Wafula. I have downloaded, but see you come I made it through. Can I share my screen, Uwane? Yes, please go ahead. That is so, that's very great. Anyone can feel free, let me know. Let me give you the privileges of sharing. Fantastic. Please go ahead and share your screen. I hope you, you, you are allowed to share your screen. I've given you the feature. Fatma as well has raised her hand. After Wafula, we'll go to Fatma. I think she's lowered it again. Please, Wafula, go ahead. I'm, and I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I'm not very good at sharing. Oh, it's <laughs> so okay. Don't worry, take have, your time. I am trying to. Are you able to see the green part where it says share? Okay, just a moment. Oh, Alan Okeo says he got some little issue with the laptop. Don't worry. This session is recorded. It's also live on Pony Technogas Facebook page. You can feel free to even follow it after the training, but we'll share the recording. Okay. That is, that is the screen. Okay. Are you able to see it? Yes. So uh, that, that's where I am. I don't know whether I've done the right thing. Then how about you in as unregistered? Is there any oh, issue with this? That there's no any issue at all. And also for your screen, mm -hmm. I can see for yours is black. Mm -hmm. Can you cancel it again and we open it again? Just cancel it. Oh, and then I reopen it. Eh? So let me okay. let me open it again. Okay. Yeah, the rest I can see my colleague Aisha is helping you on the chat. You can as well. I can see Teddy has already successfully downloaded. That's great. Feel free just to communicate on the chat. It will be easy for us to follow. Yeah, for the ones who have already successfully downloaded. That's okay. We also have one of our colleague, Latifa Noor, who's also part of the team as our director of communication. She's here as well. She can as well help you answer some of the questions. Hi. Hi, Fatma. I have, I have a question. Yes, please. I have go ahead. a question. Please. 
You are using your phone. So I'm asking what source is that we're supposed to wait for. Yeah. If Unfortunately, using... I've left my laptop at home. Oh, that's very, that, so it's so unfortunate you'll not be able to write. Actually, it's very hard to write code and run it on your phone. So I think what I will recommend you will share this recording. And then when you go back home, you can now practice again on your own. And then with the WhatsApp group that you are going to create, when you get stuck, we are going to help you. Is that OK? You okay, can't do it on you. phone. OK, OK, thank you. All right, thank you for your question. I can see all of you have been able to download the Sublime text. Maybe let me get back to a fuller. I am, I am trying, uh -huh. but it seems there is a challenge. Okay, madam, I, my question is this. Once you download, in a five save kwa desktop, ama in a save kwa downloads? Yeah, it depends. But mostly, kama uja set, uja set where your download should go using your browser, in a file uh -huh. in the kwa downloads. Umeenda kwa downloads, ukapata? Um, kwa downloads. So it is not there. Okay, so please share your screen. Just share your entire screen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Yes, Christoph. Christopher. Excuse me. Yes, yes. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if Fafula is using Windows. Oh, if yeah, that is the case, my, my, mine, I think you, if you just search it, where the Windows is, you can, will find Sublime Text. Oh, thank you so much. That's a very, very great solution, Christopher. And thank you for coming in and supporting as well. Yeah. So, Wafula, you can try the option that Christopher has suggested. Just on the search. Yes, actually on your search, try and type sublime text. You should be able to see it. Fantastic. If you are on Windows, that is. I'm sure even if you are running on Linux, you should be able to find a search. You should be able to see it. Great. Victoria Hussein asked if it's a zipped. No, it's not a zipped file. It's 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 a setup file, so it's not a zip. So once you download it, you just click on it, and it will just give you instruction. You just click next, next, and you'll be done. Very simple. I hope all of us are working hard to ensure it's working. The other option is a Notepad Plus Plus, which is a it's very simple to use, but I will not recommend us to use it now. I want us to use a similar editors. Once you are comfortable with Sublime, you can use any. Oh, Teddy, Teddy, your Sublime text is working. Great. And one thing I will encourage all of you, even for the, for the ones I've already done a bit of coding, it requires patience. Sometimes you can even take even two hours just working on something. It, it's, it happens and it's very, very OK. Okay, so Willis asked me to pardon. I don't know which point, but I hope you've managed to download the sublime text and you have something like mine. Hi everyone. Hi Adija. Good to see good to see you. What challenge are you experiencing? I'm new here, so I'm hoping to join the WhatsApp group so I can continue later and try some oh, of the Oh, great. We really look forward to supporting and helping you. You become a coder as well. OK, thank you. Welcome. Great. So the video recording will be shared. You can also follow Pony Techno Girls page. You can like it. And also, we'll also be sharing it at All American Spaces. Great. So I will go ahead and share my screen. If you still have any challenge with the sublime text, once the WhatsApp group has been created, Aisha, I, and some facilitators will help. Yes, Willis. Go ahead. Yes. I had a connection. I've just downloaded the sublime text. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't know what is the next step. Oh, don't worry. That's what we want to do now. Yeah. Fantastic. Great. So I think because of time, we can proceed and uh, now write some HTML code and we learn some of the rules that we can use. Remember each and every language, even when you write a letter, you can't just start writing letters at the center of a document. You need maybe to write like head, you need to write like a body, you need to complete with a footer, and also maybe say something like sincerely. So using HTML language, there's some specific rules that you are going to learn. And at least by the end of this session today, we'll be able to see something on our browser. It can be text, it's going to be heading or anything. And then moving forward, I will share with you some of the tools and some of the resources, even the ones who have already started learning, feel free, you can share some of the resources that you are using. And I can see Willis has Africa Code Week t-shirt. That is very good. Africa Code Week is one of the programs that we, we run as well. So that's great. So I'll share my screen. Yeah, so this is my sublime text that we are going to use. And before that, I will, there's a one format that I really like to encourage because when we create websites like the one I shared with you, the Pony Techno Girls page, there is photos, there are videos, there are words. So it is important for us to separate all these things together. So one thing that I'm going to recommend us to do is go to any document. It can be desktop, it can be documents. But for me, I'm going to save in a desktop for now. I'm going to create a folder and I call it web development. You can do the same for that. This is the first step. I want us to separate our CSS, our images to be separately. So I'm going to create a document here, a, a, a folder. You can see it on my screen. Then I will call it Coda website, website development. Call it any name that you can remember. Website development. Yes, so once I've created this folder, I want to add some small folders inside so that, because at some point you might even have 20 images. We don't have to crowd everything in one place. So I'm going inside, inside the folder. I hope you can follow. Inside the folder, I'm going to create another folder. So I'm creating a subfolder. So I will create so I'll create a folder and call it images. That is one. Although as, we will not use this folder. Madam, today. Yes, yes. As you are speaking, are you demonstrating? Because I can't see what you are doing. Oh, really? Yes, Definitely. I can only see the sublime text in it, but. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, let me see if I can share my entire screen. Thank you for letting me know. Let me see. Let me share again. Yeah, no, I was demonstrating using this, sorry. Are you able now to see the document? Now I'm able to see it, yes, yes. Great, great. So what I did, I came here and created mm -hmm. a folder mm -hmm. and I called it website development. And then I clicked inside the folder because when we are creating websites, we are going to add images and we need them to be to be organized. So as a web developer, you need to be organized and organize your files very well. Assume maybe there's a time you're working on a website. When you become sick, someone else can come in and just look at the and your work and they be able to edit or to be able to provide changes. So this is one of the folder we are going to have inside the web development. So we are going to create another one. We are going to committing side. We are going to use another one called CSS. Badai, badai. Oh, great. So for now, I will recommend we have these folders. We have website development, big the, the larger folder, then inside the two folders, we have images and CSS. Yes, yeah, so I hope that's a bit easier. You can create folders, you can also create subfolders, that's fine. 
So I want us now to go back to, I don't know if you can see my sublime text now. Anyone? No, no, no. All right, I'll stop sharing and select that screen with the sublime. Yeah, yeah sure. Great, Sawa. So, awesome. So we are going now to understand this HTML and actually what is this HTML? So HTML is a, is a, is a web programming language that actually the browser understands. Like for example, if I want to tell the browser like Chrome Firefox to output or show an image to show a video, there is a way that we need to tell it. So like for example, the HTML itself stands for hypertext markup language. So it follows rules and these rules are in forms of tags. Like for example, it has a very, there is one structure that you need to, we need all to have. Like for example, and there are different versions of HTML. We are going to use the latest, which is HTML5. And uh, this is how the structure starts. You remember when you want to write a letter, there is head, maybe title, body, and the footer. So this is a structure that I, I would like all of us to type on our sublime text. And then we're going to understand. So as I say, the HTML, we have tags. And each and every item that the browser will output, it has its own tag. But for all the pages, they need to have these tags. We need to tell our browser, hey, browser, whatever HTML version we are using is HTML5. So we'll start by docs type. Just type the same way I'm typing. I'll type. Then once we all finish typing, I will now explain some of these tags. So we are going to type that docs type. And then we remember we are going to introduce our title. And when I talk about our title, let me, sh let me see if you can see. Are you able to see Pony Techno Girls website? I'll just use this because when we, when we started, we say we are going to show you how to create real world projects. Are you able to see the website? No, 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 no. We are seeing the sublime no. text. Okay, I think because of, um, I don't know why I can't share the entire screen, but be patient. I'll just be moving from one screen to the other. Yeah, so if you look at this website, our Pony Techno Girls website, you can see here at the top, it's written Pony Techno Girls, even the Facebook. So that one is, we always call it the title. And everything else, anything else like the, the logos, these, these menus at the top, these images here at the center, everything appears inside the body. So one thing I want us to understand with the first structure, we have to have a title and this title has to be in the head and everything else will appear in the body. That is like just a, 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 a small thing that I want you to take care, to, to take note. So I'll stop sharing these and I will share now the sublime. Yeah, so let me share the sublime for now. And feel free to slow me down when you see I'm going very fast. And my colleague is following on the chat. So if there is yeah, any- Just a clarification, madam. You said at what time are we going to stop? We are going to stop at uh, 11.30. Okay, thank you. Great. So so we, we just type with me. And then now we are going to introduce our head. So our HTML or HTML language, it has, and remember when we, with the HTML, there is opening and closing. So when you open a tag, you are going to close a tag, but there are some tags which are very special. They don't need closing. But like for now, we are going to introduce the head. No, we, we need to introduce the HTML, sorry. We say HTML. HTML. And then we come here and this is a tag. We are just now telling the browser and now we are introducing the HTML and we close our HTML. Closing is we use this tag. You see, this means I've opened and closing, I will HT. I think I've written it wrongly. Yeah. HTML, HTML. So I will close that. And now I will need to introduce my title and my title has to be inside the head. And one thing that I want to encourage all of you, you don't need to cram all these things. I'm going to share with you resources and with the practice, we'll just, some of these tags will just stick on your head and there are not that so many that you need to cram 
Yeah, so don't have that pressure and the tension to cram all of it. So we are going to introduce our head. So once you open your head, you need to close it. And you close it by introducing the, this backslash. Head. And inside the head, this is where we are going to introduce our title. I, I know for the first day for the introduction, some things will look a bit strange, but we'll share with you more resources, especially to the new people. Sorry, that should be the title. And I want all of us, then you can feel free to even to join. Sorry. You can feel free to join even the Friday session. The Friday session, people will start with Python if you're really interested. But since we do not share with you this link, you can follow the sessions live on Facebook, Technogas Facebook page, or you can join using the same. But for the sake of the others, don't jump from one to the other. We can still co be consistent with, because after two weeks, we'll swipe again and start Python. So, so maybe our title, let's have it as coders at American Spaces. At American Spaces. Yeah, so this is the first thing that I want us to do. We've opened our HTML. This is HTML we've closed, we've added our head. Now we need to introduce our body. This is just like the structure, the skeleton of an of a, a web of sorry of a web page. So we'll have body, and we close our body tag. So everything else is going to appear under body. That's why I'm leaving a lot of space. Yeah. So I want all of you to type something like this. Yes. Yeah, so I'll give you like three minutes to type this. And then we learn how to save it and we see how it's going to appear on our browsers. Yeah, so anyone who has already downloaded the Sublime Text, for the people who have already done it, I'm sure. I can't hear you. Madam. Yes, yes, Wafula. Uh, we started from number one, number two, number three, number four, then number five, right? Yes, there is that head up open. So with the HTML, we have tags. So some mm -hmm. of these tags browser understand. So when you write head, the browser will understand that the browser, mm -hmm. the browser is going to display the head. You'll not mm -hmm. see this. When we, when we visualize it on a browser, you'll not see this tag, you just mm -hmm. see the title. Yeah, so when one thing I want you to notice that when you open a tag, like for example, head, you close it and you just close by introducing this slash. Mm -hmm. You've seen HTML, I've just closed it using the slash tag. I've opened my body and I've just closed it using this backslash. And once we save this, you'll notice the color will change. So the good thing with these editors, the colors will change such that when you do something wrong, you'll be able to think like, okay, why is it not appearing like any other colors? So for now, just type it the way it is on the on the screen. Sasa wakatuna type for sublime text, eh? You are supposed to move to 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 move from six all the way to eleven. Yes, yes, you can do that. The reason why you may add some space here, yeah, because okay. I want us to add some tags, because oh, okay, everything okay. else will appear here. Yeah, okay, you can just okay. type the way I've typed. You can skip, try and skip some lines. Great okay, question, okay. Mokula. Yango had the answer, but once I, I, I correct it, I'll be able to, to, to follow it up. Fantastic. And I can see here I've not, I've not closed my tag. And don't worry. Our, our, direct, our deputy director will share our form and will create our WhatsApp group immediately and we can troubleshoot some of the challenges that you are having. Sure. Right. Sure. But just understand the concept first that even okay. if we share the video with you, you can easily go back and do them very fast. Okay. Sure. Fantastic. So I've been able to write that the, the title and I've closed it. So I want us now to do an interesting part. We are going to save it. And after saving it, our browser will display it. 
So I hope all of us have managed to type, especially the new people. And for the some of us who've done it, please be patient. Let's help our friends. We we'll move together. You, you might not know some of the colleagues here will have great ideas that you can all implement together. Awesome. So I can try and check on the chat, but if I check, I might lose some. Great. Let me see some of the charts. I hope all of you have been able. Oh, that is very great, Mariam. Yes, we need to close the title. Actually, I've closed it. Oh, fantastic. I, I can see actually most of you are progressing very well. So the next thing is we want to save it. And we are going to save it in the folder that we had already created. So I want you to go to file and click save or save us. Thanks, Latifa. I can see you're also supporting with the, with the comments. Thank you. So I'm going, actually for me, my folder was in desktop. And coming to desktop, I'll just look for my website development folder. Yeah, here it is. And so I'm going to save it. All the files are just going to save here. But I need to save it in a special way. I need to save it as a HTML document. The first page that we always create, it's always advisable, we call it index. So we are going to save, we are going to write index and add dot HTML. You must make sure you say, you must save it as an HTML file. Otherwise it's not going to, you are not going to be able to visualize it and your browser will not be able to understand. So make sure you go to your folder and save index.html. Yeah, so index.html and I save. And you'll notice one thing, when I save, wow, you can see everything has changed the colors. This is very, very important, especially when we use the sublime text or any text editor, it will be able to highlight for you. So you will know that anything else here, yes, this is very, very great. And I really like this part, why? You can see all HTML tags have been highlighted in pink. I think that's pink. Yeah, so you'll be able to know, okay, the browser is going to assume everything that is on there. It's, going to, it's not going to show any of the tags, but it's going to show anything that appears in between the tags. So for now, we need to see how the browser is going to show our title. We need to see this title. So I'm going to write, so how do we do that? Inside the sublime text, you right click and say open in a browser. I hope you'll be able to see the browser. If and madam, uh -huh. kindly repeat there. Apple man, be okay, dog, Oh, that's very, very okay. And feel free to. So you said after saving it in, in, a, in, a, in the folder that was created earlier, the next thing is what are we supposed to do? We want to see how this code we've written here, it's mm -hmm. going to be shown on the browser, come on, Firefox, Chrome. So what, I, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. so, so what I said, mm -hmm. all right, I think I will, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click inside my, my sublime text oh, and I okay. click open in a browser. So we just want oh, to okay. see how, how is it even going to show on a browser? Great. I'm not sure. Great. It needs to show in a browser. I don't know if some of you have been able. Let me stop sharing. Let me confirm first. Let me know how it goes on the chat if you've been able to visualize your work. Yeah. 
Great, great. I'm here. I'm waiting to hear from you on the chat. Anyone who's been able to visualize? Okay, I think I forgot something. We need to add this. Just one second. On the sublime text, huh? Yeah, one second, yeah. I think it's better you go back there to an available on add, eh? kindly. Sour, sour. Fantastic, great. Yeah. Actually, actually, let me first see on the chat if you've been able to move. Anyone who's able to visualize anything? Yeah, yeah, me. Sawa, sawa. So what we need to see, we'll see a blank page. Let me open, sorry. So we are going to see a blank page. Let me, let me share my screen. I want us to do even some bit of paragraphs. Mm, yeah, actually you should see something like this. Have all of you been able to see something like this? You, because what, what currently we've done is just write the title. The title as shown here on the browser at the top. Email so this, Kodak, is the result, this is after opening in a browser, right? Yes, yes. After opening in a browser, because the body, you can see the body is empty. I want us to write some paragraphs, some headings so that we can see. But for now, whatever we've just written is the, is the title. So I, I hope all of us has written this title. This is actually what I wanted us to see. And then now we can do some tags here on the body. Great, so let's introduce like one of the simplest tag, like a paragraph. If you want to write a paragraph and you want to tell the browser, hey, the browser, I want you to display a paragraph tag. So I will stop sharing this and share again my, I want to share now my sublime text screen. Okay, so let's now, let's now introduce some paragraphs. So remember, if you want to write a paragraph, we are going to use P, P tag, that's P tag. And remember once, because we've saved something that is very interesting with sublime text, but it gives you, you can see there's some auto completion. When I do that, it completes for me. I need to close this. I think this one, yes. So it completes this for you. It opens the P tag, it closes the P tag. So maybe I want to introduce and say, this is our first coding session. Coding session. Let's see how it's going to appear on the browser. So we need to, we need to write P and write something in it. Let me not go very fast. So P tag is one of the HTML tags that will display a paragraph or it can be just a line. So we've learned about the HTML tag which will just show the entire structure. Then we've known the head, the head which introduces the title which we've been able to see. So our other tag is P tag. I want also to learn about the heading tag before we can finish, yeah. So that is the P tag. I hope all, everyone have been able to type that. And then remember to save. I will save. And then after saving, I think I'll have to stop sharing this so Excuse that I can, I, can, uh, I can share the browser. Yeah, so once you save, you can just refresh or view on a sublime text and say, open in a browser. You should be able to see this. This is our coding session. You can see the browser has ignored the P tag, the opening P tag and closed the P tag. But what has it been able to show us? It has been able to show us this is our coding session. I really hope all of us have been able to achieve this. Excuse me. Yes, yes. Uh, Madam, how do you go to the browser? Oh, fantastic. So. Fantastic. So I will stop sharing. 
and that is so good of you to ask again and everyone feel free i don't so, believe madam yes I think my question will uh, lead to, to that question that my colleague has just asked. Oh, fantastic. Let me now, have a look at it. Now, mm -hmm. my question is this. After now, after typing this, this is our, our coding session. Uh, you said we are supposed to save. So to end up a file, to save the folder we created. That is a very good question, Wafula. So what you need to do, you can use the, you, you have already saved for the first time. It has okay. shown these colors. So you can use a, short, a, a keyboard shortcut to save. You can use oh, yeah, Control S. Mm. You can use Control S or you can just come, sorry, I think I used uh -huh. Control S, that was so fast. So mm -hmm. I can just come here and say, save. I come to file and oh. save. So okay, save it. Will, it won't take you back to our folders. You save it. It will no, just no, save. No, 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 no. No, you just save it on the on the sublime text. Okay, okay, okay. So once yes, you save, once you save, not, if you want, if you want to view it again on the browser, you right click and open in a browser. Remember, we we want to out show how the Peter will show. So I will just come here and say open in a browser. So this browser, I'm sure you can see it. I will figure out in our next session how I can share multiple screens. So I will stop this and share again, and we'll be able to see. This is what you should be able to see for the people who are doing it. You should be able to see this is our coding session. Sure, sure. Yeah. So I know when you go, when you go and try it on your own, it will be something that you will be able to manage and it's very interesting, yeah. Now I have a question. Mm -hmm. Forgive me for asking so many questions, but I just no, want no, to understand. No, 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 I'm very, very happy to answer even a hundred questions until no. you are very confident. Remember, it's not about training, it's about all of you understanding this session. So all of okay. us, let's be patient. If one of us has not been able to understand, remember, when doing something, kuna beginners, kuna nyuanajua. So let us be all in the same page. Yeah, so feel free, Wakula. Okay, now we, in the sublime text we created, I mean, we we, we only wrote uh, the codes at American Space. Nini moja tu hapo ju. But why is it that hapa imefungwa sasa hizi nini? How would we call this? Ulisema ni pages ama ni nini? This one. Oh, oh. Bona imefungwa nyingi. Oh, oh, that Aye. is a very, Kwafula, that's an awesome question. Unona hapa mimi kwangu pia imefungwa coders at American Space, coders yes. at American Space. Why? Yes. Because each and every time niki save, niende kwa sublime text, I say open in a new browser, it will automatically open another tab. Oh, it opens a new nini tab. A new tab, yes. So, like, I saw this and I ignored it because Nataka, as we progress, you will not be opening all the tabs. So Kisha save, unakuja tu hapa, una refresh, and you'll be able to see the changes. Ah, okay, okay. You have so answered. I think the next thing when I add it on the sublime text, I will close all these sessions, and then I will just come here and, no, nakama hiya ina, but niki refresh hapa, it picks the latest changes zenye nimeandika kwa sublime. Okay, okay. Yeah. Great. So I want us to do the heading tag and we and this heading tag we come back heading one to heading six and let's see how we are going to show them on the browser and then we can learn so many interesting things like links, adding Google Maps, adding videos, so many things. But for now, let's work with the let's work on the heading. So I will stop sharing this screen and I will share my sublime text. Great, so I hope all of us are following. No, so, on sublime text, eh? I want you to clarify on this, this, these two signs. He, he, apa, na he, this one. Are you able to see my, my cursor? No, 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 no. Actually, when you, unless you share your screen, tell me on what line on my screen. Let me just share. I can it. make it bigger. That's fair. Okay, okay. Now, I don't know whether I can share it. Now, this one here. 
Ah. Can you share your screen or just tell me in which line of code? There is number seven, number six. Yes, easy. It is up open. Opening. This one? This one. Uh, inside here, if we can easy in the open and close. Oh, here. Easy in Billy, function here can you get any easy in here. Then there is here, in here. Up closing, opening and closing after sessions. Here, yeah. open, oh, yeah, open. Here, in here, arrow here. This one, not arrow. Oh, here, now, what? Because you can get any. Oh, that's a very good question. I understand what you are asking. So those are tags. Remember when I started, I said, we call them tags and HTML oh. has specific tags. Like ukitaka kuambia browser, I am um, now whatever I want you to show is a paragraph. Lazima we display in a P tag. So okay. the browser, itakuja. So let me now try and make it a bit clear because mm -hmm. whatever we are writing here has to be displayed on a browser, Cindy. And the browser, there the needs to be a communication between the sublime text and the browser. So when you write this code, if, if, when you just tell the browser P, the browser will understand, okay, what I, what I need to show now is a paragraph. So I think let's do another tag so that you can understand, right? Yeah, so let me do the, the, the heading tag so that you can understand. And the heading tags are different titles in sizes. So we have heading one until heading six. So when I open heading one, I, I want us to learn about this tag, sorry. So I will come here. I think the more we do them, the more you'll understand. So I will do heading one. I will say this is heading one. Yeah, so remember, I think mine closes twice. Remember, I have to open this tag here and I have to close it. And by closing it, this is just some simple syntax or some simple rules the HTML. So, so this is my heading and I'm closing my heading. So I can say, we can write something like, I am learning heading. I am learning about heading. That is, that is one. And then the second part is, I, because I've said it's equal heading one until heading six. So let's write all of them and see how they are going to, to appear. So we have, yeah, for the sake of time, I'll just copy this and I will just change the numbers. So I will come here and change here and say, this is heading two. I know some of you have done this looks very simple, but let's, let's also help our friends catch up. So I will do until heading six. I'll just come here and change that heading three. This will come with different sizes. So I'll come to heading three. I want just us to do this. And this will be heading four. Heading four. I do heading five. Hope you can follow with me. That's heading five. That's heading five. Then now we finalize with heading six. And then we'll go on our browser and see how it's going to appear. Heading six and type heading six. Great, let me enlarge it so that you can see. So this is heading one. I've opened my heading one tag. I've come here, I've closed my heading one tag. So to answer our fuller question, the browser will just display everything that is in between this tag, but it will, it will show this, this first one as heading one, and then it will show this second one as heading two. Remember all these tags, actually they're in pink. You will not be able to see them on the browser. On the browser, we corner that you see now this is heading one opening, this is heading one closing. No, that is just a rule for the browser to understand. Hi, Ruth. Hi. Yes, sorry, sorry for cutting you short. I was requesting if you could copy paste the entire code on the chat because there's one student okay. uh, that uh, is uh, a bit behind and he needs to copy the code on the text editor. I've been helping him 
but to make it easier for him, if you could copy paste the same code on the chat. Thank you, thank you. I really thank appreciate. You. Thank you, Aisha. I've just done it right now. I've copied the code to everyone. You can just copy it and put it on your after paragraph. Yeah, that's make it easier. I hope all of us can be able to do that. But this time, I don't want you to open in a new tab. I want you to open your browser where the first session you've done it, and we are going to refresh. We are going to see all these types of heading out they are going to show. Awesome. So I'm really excited. And I know even for me, for the first time, I was just writing things on Sublime Text. I'm able to display them on a, on, a, on a browser. I could really feel the excitement. What I used to do, when I want to do something in web, and I have a target I want to do this today, simple thing like I want to add an image, I want to add like a video. If I do it or have multiple tasks that I want to do, and then I'm able to achieve it, I could just reward myself with just go and buy myself like a bottle of soda. Yeah, because the more we learn, the more we are going to get more challenging stuff. Yeah, so I would really like you to find a way to motivate yourself. It could be clapping for yourself. It could be maybe buying yourself something, a sweet, just something small, just to appreciate you've been able to do that. So that is really, really great. So I want to stop sharing this. And uh, I want to go back and share my the other screen and we can see. So just to answer the same question to Afula, instead of opening my sublime text every time, I can just come to this tab here and refresh. Mm, okay, we should be able to show, but it's still okay. Okay, so let me, let me, unless I have not, oh, forgive me. The reason why, again, it's not showing is when you check here, it's, I've not saved my work. I can cancel some of this. Okay. Session. I have not saved my work. Yes, I want to say, no, sorry, sorry. I want to, I want to cancel some of this session, cancel. No, I want to remove all this session. And you can see, as these are these are class I was having with my students. Remember, you are not sharing your screen. Eh? Oh, okay. So, so let me share it. I show you what, what I'm really yes, doing. Yes. I want to I follow really, every step. I really like Wafula. You'll become our prefect. Actually, I've appointed you to be our prefect. <laughs> Thank you. That's really great. Yeah. So what, what I'm really going to do, I want to cancel some, these are some of the sessions I've been doing with some of our students, but you'll be able to learn. So the session that I was doing is this. And you, how, how do you able to know that you've not saved? So when you look at the top of your sublime text, it looks circle, like a circle, like a dot. So once you save, the circle should disappear. So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to use the file, save. If I save my work, you can see the circle at the top here is not showing. So I want now to go back. You have to save your work and now refresh my browser. Instead of coming here and saying, open, open in a sublime text, to avoid opening so many tabs, which is one of the best way to do it, I will stop sharing and come back to my here. Where is it? Actually, it should be here. I think I closed that tab accidentally. I might need to open in a new in a new tab, which is very okay. Yeah, but the rest have already opened in new tab, please. This is what you should be able to see. I think I will need to share my screen again. Once you refresh, you should be able to see what is on the screen here. Yeah, so as you can see, here, when you look at my, are you able to see my screen? You are able to see whatever is appearing on the body here. 
Wafula, Jacob, Rashid, anyone? I can, see, I can see it now. Fantastic. So you can see heading one is a bit bigger than heading two. And then as you progress, it becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. Actually, after heading six, the last one is supposed to be a paragraph. And one thing that is very clear, when we come here at the browser, the brow you cannot see those opening HTML, opening HTML, opening heading one, closing heading one. The browser itself is very smart. It will be able to understand, okay, Sublime Text has told me to display heading one. So I'm going to display heading one. The Sublime Text is telling me to display paragraph. This is what I'm going to display. I hope that really answers Wafula and anyone who answered that, who asked that well, question. Well, thank you. Yes, Only it's very one. good. To, it's very, very exciting for me to see all of you or some of you being able to understand this concept. And I know God willing when anything, everything resumes back to normal, we are going to meet at American Spaces. Now, madam, uh -huh. meaning any time I need to add any information on the whatever we are seeing now, I must go back to the sublime text. Yes, yes, yes. Because take uh -huh. it this way, the browser, uh -huh. the browser needs to get information from the sublime, the Yonesho. So uh -huh. it's like you have to instruct the browser. Yes, so that's a new concept I also want. Anything you want to show on the browser, you need mm -hmm. to put it on the sublime text. Mm -hmm. Like for example, you want heading, like for even on our website, we've used a lot of heading ones, heading twos a lot. Maybe I can share the same, yeah. let me share that screen as well. You can get that concept. Yeah, so as we move forward, by the end of this, by the end of this session, all of you should be able to have at least one website, at least a simple project in JavaScript, a simple project in Python. Yeah, so this is just one of the many sessions we are going to run. Remember, these sessions will run until next year, October. So we really hope you you'll invest your time in this. So when you look at Pony Techno Girls on our website, you can see. Here, women-led, this could be something like heading two. When we come down here, who we are, if you can see who we are is a bit big. So mm -hmm. this is heading one. And the colors, coloring, we are also going to work on them later. We're also going to learn how to beautify our website, how to make different layouts. We are going to use bootstrap, like for example, to divide a certain content into three columns into four columns. This is something very exciting that you're going to learn. Like how are we even able to add these images? I'm sure in our next session, we are going to learn how to add images on our website, how to add YouTube videos, how to add Google Maps. Yeah, like you can see here on Pony Techno Girls, this is a video about, this is a time I was explaining about what we do at Pony Techno Girls. We do a lot of training and mentorship for girls. But we've also been doing coding sessions even for, for gentlemen. So don't be scared. This is something we are passionate about. And we're no very problem. happy to see that uh, American Space and the US Embassy has supported all of you to learn. Yeah, so don't take it for granted. So many people applied for this program and we were able to narrow down for you to be selected to be part of this program. Yeah, so we are past time with, with seven minutes. I just to get two minutes feedback from all of you. Anyone maybe can can just you can unmute yourself if there is anything new you've been able to learn. Yeah, and maybe now this is the time I can also welcome Aisha. Please share the link where everyone will be able to add their phone numbers and will be able to continue with these sessions with you on WhatsApp group. Yeah, feel free. We're okay. very few people, as you can see, we are very young like you. Don't need to be scared. We are not lecturers. We are just, people are very happy to support you and work with you in this coding journey. Yeah. Yes, I, yes. Okay, Wafula, do you want to share something? What have you been I, able to I learn? just want to say this. Huh? Uh -huh. I'm very, very happy to, to meet everyone here. Oh, great. And I appreciate Puan Techno Girls for this opportunity. I'm very humbled and I appreciate you guys so much. 
I'm very happy because today I have learned. Yes, I, I did part of uh, programming Kidogo uh, at the college level, but But today it has revived. Today's lesson has revived what I did of what I learned at, at the college level. So I must say thanks. I appreciate. I just want to pray that uh, all is going well. And uh, let's be safe outside there. Oh, thank you so much. And remember, we are recording these sessions. We are going to upload them in our in our drive, and we are going to share with you on the WhatsApp group. So in any point you miss one of the sessions, you'll, you'll be able to follow it up on the WhatsApp group. You can even follow it live from the for the from the Pony Technogas Facebook page. So that's really great. And we are very happy to have you and good to see you, Afula. I can see your video is on. Good to see you. Thank you. Yeah. So, Aisha, please. Have you shared the link? I can stop sharing for now. Yes, Aisha has shared the link with everyone. Please enter your WhatsApp numbers there. Oh, Alan, that's very, very okay. You can share your comments there if you are not able to unmute. It's actually very great and a very great honor to be working with all of you. So there is a very great link that I want to share with you. I know most of you have heard of these W3 schools. It's a great resource that I would like all of you to go through it before we meet. Or if you go through it and you don't understand any concepts, feel free to ask on the WhatsApp group. We can answer you and at the same time, even reach out and support you. So it's whatever, it's only your passion and your commitment in your will help you. Remember, if you are committed- Sorry, to say. If you are committed to this, we'll be very happy to support you. Yeah, so, and you'll always have our word. So I want to share this W3 school link with all of you. Actually, whatever I've taught today is there. Just to have a look at it as well. You can go through the video. There are other, there are other tags which we've not, we've, we've not tackled, but we are going to have a look at them. Like next, like next week, we are going to learn how to add images, how to add videos, to add Google Maps as well. Great. Madam. So, Madam. Yes, yes. Apart from sharing uh, on WhatsApp, is it possible to share like some of the notes on what we have learned in our email, on our personal email? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, we have a PowerPoint presentation and yes, we, yes we'll share. We'll share a PowerPoint presentation until the level that we've reached where you can just copy the code. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Oh, great. That is really great. And thanks for that. We'll share on the WhatsApp group so that you can easily access. So I would really like to end this session for today and thank you. Yes, the sessions are only taking place once, but we hope we can do two sessions in a week. What do you think? Yeah, if you'll be available to do two sessions in a week, why not? We can organize. Why can't we do it on uh, Saturday? Yeah, yeah, sure. We can have, can we do a session on Wednesday and Saturday? Yeah, in the afternoon. Oh, Saturday in the afternoon. Oh, that's afternoon. a great. Yeah, so in, in a week we have two sessions. Fantastic. Yeah, so I, yeah, so we'll, we'll organize for that beginning next week. In the Excuse next me. week, yes, beginning next week we'll do two, Wednesday and Saturday. Yeah, so that at least we can learn quickly. That's a very great suggestion. Yes, and you just saying that you want two sessions shows that you are really interested to learn. Yeah, and you can count on our support. We'll really support all of us to learn. Yeah, wow. so I would like us to end this session. And yeah, so we'll meet on the WhatsApp group and we'll meet next week on Wednesday and Saturday. Do have a great weekend and Stay safe. Shukran sana, madam. Kwa All right. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye. Make bye, sure bye. you add your numbers on the on the form that Aisha shared. Don't forget. Anyone when you jump the link, let me know. Great. I hope everyone has been able to answer. And then there's also be a session on 
on Friday, but please don't join that. Just wait for your time to learn Python. Let's just continue. Great, so I will end the session and bye and stay safe.